John chapter 1, beginning in verse 19. This was John's testimony when the Jews were in Jerusalem, sent priests and Levites to ask him, Who are you? He didn't deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. What then? They asked him, Are you Elijah? I am not. Are you the prophet? No, he answered. Who are you then? They asked. We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What can you tell us about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, just as Isaiah the prophet said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. So they asked him, Why then do you baptize if you aren't the Messiah or Elijah or the prophet? I baptize with water, John answered them. Someone stands among you, but you don't know him. He is the one coming after me, whose sandal strap I'm not worthy to untie. All this happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. In verse 29, the next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I told you about. After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I didn't know him, but I came baptizing with water so that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and he rested on him. I didn't know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water told me, the one you see a spirit descending and resting on, he is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. The next day John was standing with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this and followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and noticed him following, he asked, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come and you'll see, he replied. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying. They stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard John as following him. He first found his own brother, Simon, and told him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ, or the Anointed One. And he brought Simon to Jesus. When Jesus saw him, he said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. He found Philip and told him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the hometown of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and so did the prophets, Jesus, the son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Nathanael asked him. Come and see, Philip answered. Then Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said about him, Here, truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you, Jesus answered. Rabbi, Nathanael replied, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus responded to him, do you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. Then he said, Truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened up and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The end of chapter 1.